Hi, in this video I will briefly introduce you to Universal Dependencies as a project and a framework. Universal Dependencies is a collaborative project that has two major aims. The first one is to develop a framework for describing the grammatical structure of diverse languages. The second is to apply this framework to diverse languages in order to create so-called annotated corpora or tree banks. In short, the project seeks to enable the systematic description of syntactic structures and morphological features across various languages, which would then enable drawing comparisons between these languages. The term universal comes from the goal of developing a broadly applicable framework, whereas the term dependencies refers to the way syntactic structures are described within this framework. The number of tree banks annotated using universal dependencies has grown rapidly over the last few years and as of this date there are tree banks available for over 120 languages. Developing a framework that can describe grammatical structures across so many languages is far from trivial and additional challenges emerge from the intended use of these tree banks. These tree banks are intended to support both computational and linguistic research, and this is why the Universal Dependencies Framework is a compromise between several competing criteria. First of all, Universal Dependencies must support the linguistic analysis of individual languages, but on the other hand, it also needs to bring out structural similarities across languages that are related to each other. Secondly, universal dependencies must support rapid and consistent annotation of grammatical structures by human annotators. And the framework must also be easily comprehensible for non-linguist users in order to create and use the tree banks efficiently. Finally, universal dependencies must be suitable for training highly accurate computational parsers and the framework must also support downstream natural language processing tasks such as sentiment analysis and named entity recognition. The need to balance these criteria is also reflected in the design of the Universal Dependencies Framework, which will be introduced in the following videos. I hope you found this brief video useful, and if you have any questions about Universal Dependencies, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks.